Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is my first ever Halloween tutorial and I hope you guys like it. So I've prepped my skin and got my contacts on and I'm ready to change my face into a witch. And I bought this witch set from the local um, costume shop and also the spirit gum. I'm gonna measure my nose and my chin as well to know where I need to place the glue. As soon as I'm happy with where my fake nose is gonna be, I'm taking the spirit gum to attach the fake nose to my actual nose. You have to wait for it to get tacky before you can attach the fake nose to your actual nose. So just place your finger, once it gets tacky, then you can attach the nose. Just make sure that you're able to breathe through your fake nose. And what you're gonna do now is repeat the same step to attach your chin. Attach your chin as strong as possible because you don't want your chin to fall off in the middle of partying. To achieve that green skin, I'm taking my Mehron Paradise face paint and I'm gonna use my Morphe G9 brush to paint my face. Oh my god, I look so creepy right now. Dip your brush in a bit of water and swirl your brush around the face paint and it'll be ready to use. color a lot more vibrant what I did was I did one layer of the face paint and I waited for it to dry and I did another layer as you can see here the color is more vibrant compared to how we started you might want to pat um, on certain areas that is hard to cover like on my forehead I find it quite hard to cover These are the eyes of a now we just gotta have eyebrows on fleek as well so to achieve that fleekness I'm using a black matte eyeshadow Take your broom as your inspiration, the bushier the better so what I'm doing here is I'm drawing large strokes to make it messier and not so in place For the eyes, I thought I would go for something glittery like this one from Sephora. It's called Rolling in the Grass. I'm just gonna use my finger and dab it all over my lids. For the lower lash line, I'm using a brush instead so I could easily blend it. To give more definition to our eyes, I am using my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner and I'm just gonna line my eyes 
and my lower lash line. So not forgetting our falsies, I'm using the falsies that I bought from the same costume shop and my duo eyelash glue. So this is how a witch would look like when she's waiting for her glue to get tacky. What I'm doing next is I'm about to apply some black eyeshadow on the bumps. I'm also going to add some details on the skin of the witch. These are the eyes of a I'm also going to contour my nose for a really skinny and wicked nose. You can totally play around with all the details and it's up to you where to put it and just have fun! To get that structured look, I am contouring my face with the black eyeshadow as well. So I decided to make my face more evil and wicked. I'm taking a dark red color with an angled brush. I am doing some veins on my face. I'm not an expert in this, so I apologize if it looks like worms or something. I don't know. These are the eyes of a psychopath. Moving on to the lips, I am using this um, LA Splash liquid lipstick in the color Vampire. So that's basically it, we're done with makeup, I'm putting my cape on and my wig on, it's so pretty and I think this is like the most badass witch ever. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video, like, subscribe and leave a comment, bye!